For more videos visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, we have these two problems that we have uh, for the first problem a 30 kilogram pipe is supported at A by a system of five cords find the force in each of the cords for equilibrium and the second one they tell you that all the cords can sustain a maximum tension of 500 newtons then what is the maximum mass that the system can support whenever you have a bunch of cords and they're all dependent on one thing that one thing being the mass of the cylinder I like to do the problem the way I'm I like to do all these problems the way I'm gonna show you how to do it so the first thing you need to understand is that this has a weight and that weight creates this tension right here the tension AH so AH is equal to the weight of the cylinder which is equal to the mass of the cylinder times the acceleration of gravity which is equal to 9.81 which is g the acceleration of gravity times the mass m so a h is equal to 9.81 m as you can see i wrote a h as a as a value of m i didn't really plug in the 30 kilogram newton uh, 30 kilogram mass into this equation just do it like this you'll see my technique you'll like it so Looking at this, the diagram of A right here, we have AH going straight down, we have AE going to the right, and we have AB going up at an angle of 60 degrees of the negative x axis, assuming this orientation, x, y. So that being said, looking at A, at A, sum of the forces on the y is equal to zero for equilibrium, so AB times the sine of 60 minus AH is equal to 0 which means that AB is equal to AH over the sine of 60 but we know AH to be 9.81 times the mass so 9.81 divided by the sine of 60 gives you 11.32 M so AB is equal to 11.32 times the mass also at A we know that the sum of the forces in the x direction are equal to 0 therefore AB going to the left is negative AB times the cosine of 60 degrees plus AE is equal to 0 so AE is equal to AB cosine of 60 degrees AE is equal to 5.66 times the mass now we have AB we found it right here well we have 11 point that it's 11.32 times the mass this is the force BD and this is the force CB so now I'm gonna work with the free body diagram of B so let me see if I have enough space you know that at B let's do it here the sum of the forces in the Y is equal to 0 so BD which is going up times 3 over 5 minus AB which we already found times the sine of 60 is equal to 0 so when you solve for BD you basically got to bring that to the right side multiply AB which is 11.32 times the sine of 60 multiply by 5 divide by 3 and you get the result for BD and you get that BD is equal to 16.33 times the mass we're putting everything in terms of the mass now at B also you know that the sum of the forces in the X is equal to 0 so CB going to the left minus CB plus BD times 4 over 5 which is found BD plus AB times the cosine of 60 is equal to 0 and we also found AB so when you plug in 11.32 times the mass for AB 
and 16.33 times the mass for BD and you solve for CB you get that CB is equal to 18.73 times the mass perfect now we have all the forces in terms of the mass and now we're gonna solve with this information we're gonna solve these two problems in seconds they're telling you for the first problem determine the force in each chord well simple all you gotta do is replace the mass by the mass given which is 30 kilograms so AH is 9.81 times 30 which becomes 294.3 newtons AB becomes 11.32 times the mass which is 340 newtons AE is 5.66 times the mass which is 170 newtons BD is equal to 490.5 newtons because BD is 16.33 times the mass and CB is equal to 562.3 newtons because it's 18.73 times the mass and that's it we solve the first problem now the second problem they tell you the maximum tension each cord can sustain is 500 newtons when they tell you you have a maximum tension you gotta find which one is sustaining the maximum it's obviously CB because CB is the biggest one let me write them in order you know that CB is the biggest one then comes BD then comes AB then comes AH and then comes AE that's the order of tension of the system the most tension is being held by CB therefore you set CB equal to 500 newtons because it's the one sustaining the maximum and you know that CB which is equal to 500 is equal to 18.73 times the mass so to solve for the mass you divide 500 by 18.73 and you get that it is equal to 26.7 kilograms and we solve the second problem final answer and final answer for the forces if the mass is 30 kilograms now the reason why I like doing it this way is because if in the field somebody was to ask you more questions about the system or you have to solve for more questions and you already have all this information and it's easy to find pretty much anything like the reactions here or you know you name it what happens if I want to add another cylinder etc so final answers please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you